Hi, welcome back to Christine's Home Affairs. I have a very quick video today, but it's going to be a two part video. I'm going to show you how to make a bucket hat, but first of all, I'm going to show you how to take your measurements, how to work out the math involved in getting the head circumference and radius and all those sorts of things and how to draft your pattern. And because it's too lengthy to put all together in the pattern drafting and the construction, I'm going to do the two separately. So in this video, drafting and measuring and the next video will be the construction of the bucket hat that will be the next video straight after this one. Oh, and <laughs> I should show you the hat shouldn't I so this is the bucket hat uh, green it's going to be a reversible bucket hat so I've got the floral on the outside green on the inside or you can change it the other way around before we get started though I have a gift it's my very first gift as a youtuber and I thought I'd actually open it up with you lot and share the experience so I haven't seen it I, I do know I was getting something it's come all the way over from Lynchburg in I think it's Virginia in the USA and it's from a lady called Beth so thank you very much Beth let's have a look and see what I've got these are my paper scissors Oh wow, what a great design. Wow, isn't this beautiful? Beth, you have done an amazing job. Now, I, I did know it was a, a towel. Beth said that um, this, Beth made this herself. So this is absolutely stunning. How did you do it? <laughs> um, it I, is this woven? It looks... It looks like it's been woven. This is absolutely amazing. It's it's so stunning. It's just beautiful. So well made. That is gorgeous. Thank you so much, Beth. I really appreciate it. Totally unexpected. Um, and thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I do love it. It's beautiful. It's great work. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Come along and I will show you how to make uh, a pattern, draft a pattern for this bucket hat. And again, thank you. The very first thing we need to do is measure our head. I've got a flexible tape measure here and I'm just going to take that around my head. And my head measures 22 inches. 22 inches or roughly 55 centimeters. Let's go now and draft our pattern. Okay, before we start, we're going to have a little bit of a math lesson. We've got my head measurement, which is 22 inches or 55 centimetres. Now that measurement is the circumference of my head. The cir circumference is the distance all the way around my head. We want to find out what the radius is of the circle so that we can actually work out how to draft our pattern. So the radius is the centre point to the outside of the circle. If we ever wanted to know the diameter, that is just that distance across the center of the circle. Okay, so let's get on to the math. To find the radius, we need to know what pi is. Now pi is this symbol here, which we all dreaded at school, although I used to kind of like it. I thought it was really cute, which is roughly equal to 3.14. I do believe all calculators have the symbol pi on it. To get your measurement, what you need to do is take your measurement and divide it by 2 pi. Let's say you're working with inches, we've got 22 inches divided by, now it's really important that you use brackets here. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. So you've got 22 inches, which is a distance right around your head, divided by now we need to put this in brackets, so we put a bracket, two, I have to turn the calculator around so that I can get my pi, press the pi, who's getting hungry? Put the bracket in there again, and there's your answer, so it's 3.5, roughly, we're just going to round this. So 3.5 inches is the radius of our 22 inch circle so from here to here is 3.5 inches this measurement's really important for us to be able to draft our pattern if we're working in centimeters you'll do 55 centimeters divided by 
get your bracket to pi which is I'll just take you close up there's the brackets the pi close the bracket and there's my answer which is 8.75 centimeters there's an easier way to do this the symbol pi equals roughly 3.14 so if I tap that it'll give us 3.14 and then a heap of numbers after that we're just going to take the 3.14 so again to find the radius of a circle it's the circumference divided by 2 pi 2 pi for those that are not very good with maths is the same as 2 times 3.14 so all we need to do is find out what that is, 2 times 3.14. And this doesn't matter whether it's inches or centimetres, this is just the pi rule, so which is 6.28. Okay, so now what we can do is find the radius of our circle using this measurement here. So if we take our 22 inches divided by 6.28, which is exactly the same as 2 pi, then you've got that measurement that we had earlier, which was 3.5 inches. Likewise, if we take our 55 centimeters and divide it by 6.28, that will give us 8.75 roughly centimeters. So this is how we work out our measurement. So based on my head measurement, this is the measurement we're going to be working off today. So what we have here is just a piece of paper that's been folded in four, folded in half and then folded in half again. And you want to make sure that your square that's been folded in half twice is at least the size of your radius. We've determined that the radius of my head is three and a half inches or 8.75 centimeters. I'm just going to use it inches for now. So from this corner here, we want to measure three and a half inches. And at the side, we'll do the same. And we're going to fill in the gaps. So measure three and a half inches all the way around and take that measurement from the corner so there we've got a quarter circle. Now before we cut this out, we need to add a seam allowance. So determine what you want your seam allowance to be before you go any further. And I want mine to be, I'm going to have a seam allowance of 3 eighths of an inch or one centimetre. So what you can do now is cut out your pattern along this dotted line here because that's our seam allowance just here. If you cut the fabric here then your hat's going to be too small. This is the rotary cutter I use for paper. So there's the pattern for the top of the hat. Now you can go and measure this all the way around So start here measure all the way around and you should get 22 inches if that's what your head measurement is. The radius from here to the edge of my fabric is three and a half inches. Don't forget I've added a seam allowance. Now we need to work out the size of the side of our hat. So we want to measure this edge in here. Although we've added the seam allowance here, we don't want to measure the outside edge. We actually want to measure our stitching edge. With your tape measure, just measure from the outside edge to the other outside edge along the stitching line only. And that for me, this is a terrible tape measure, is five and three quarter inches, which was 14 and a half centimeters. So this measurement just here, which is a stitching line, is five and three quarter inches. We want to open this out. We want the measurement of the stitching line all the way around. So we've got five and three quarters for our quarter circle. For our half circle, it's going to be double. So that's 10, that's 11 and a half inches or 29 centimeters. And that will be the stitching line from here all the way around to here. Now the height of your bucket hat can be whatever you like. I'm going to go with uh, three and a quarter inches. 
So I've measured three and a quarter inches from the edge there to here, which is roughly about eight centimeters. The width that we need is the measurement that we've just taken around here, which is 11 and a half inches. So I'll cut out that rectangle. Take this rectangle now, fold it in half, and fold it in half again. And then you want to cut your fold lines all the way to the very top, but not through the edge. We've got our rectangle split into four even wedges. What we want to do here is tape one section down, leave an area along the bottom because we still need to add seam allowance to this. Tape this to the background and we want a gap here of about one centimetre or three eighths of an inch. You want to even out your paper so it's not too lumpy and we don't want to tape the rest of it because otherwise it's going to be all skewed. So take your measurement line up the bottom corner of this piece of paper along the bottom edge and leave a gap of three eighths of an inch or one centimeter and take that down as you go on to the next section tape that down as well we'll repeat that process here and for the last one we can do the same and then just tape the rest of it down now remember on this one here, we've added the seam allowance. Now when we've taken our measurement for this side here, we haven't used the seam allowance. We've just used the stitching line. We need to add a seam allowance for this and it's going to be the same seam allowance. We don't need a seam allowance on this side because this is the folded side of the fabric. So this is our fold and then we wanna add seam allowance all the way around. So that dotted line there is the seam allowance for the side of our hat now. Connect the dots or just cut this straight out. What we need here is the measurement of the edge of the fabric. So if we draw in a line here along the bottom, this is our stitching line, okay? And there's our seam. Now the measurement that we're going to take here is from the folded edge to the edge of your fabric. Again, we've got a seam allowance here. We've got a seam allowance along the bottom here. We don't want those measurements. We just want from the folded edge to the edge here. And that is 13 inches or 33 centimeters. So the inside measurement here is 13 inches or 33 centimeters. The inside measurement at the top here was 11 and a half inches or 29 centimeters. So we've got the top of our hat, the side of our hat. Now we need to do the brim. So for the brim of the hat, we need to take this measurement here, the 13 inches or 33 centimeters. We need to make another rectangle that is 13 inches long. And this time we're going to do two and three quarters for the brim. The brim can be as wide as you like. So I'm going to go with two and three quarters which is around about seven centimeters. So we've got two, three quarters or seven centimeters. And we've got 13 and a half inches long or 33 centimeters. We'll cut that out. Again, we'll fold this in half and fold it in half again. And we'll just slash open these folds here. and we'll place this back down on our paper. This one's going to have a slightly wider gap. You can go to the trouble of having more slashes in here. Just depends on how much work you wanna put into it. This time around, I'm gonna go with a one and a half centimeter or five eighths inch gap. So here we've got one and a half centimeters or five eighths of an inch. Now we need to draw our seam lines in again. Now remember this side here is going to be on the fold. And then we just wanna put our one centimeter seam allowance or three eighths of an inch all the way around. Once you've done that, you can cut out your pattern. 
Here are our three pattern pieces. We've got the circle for the top of the head. Now I've gone and transferred this over to a heavier piece of paper just to make it a little bit less flimsy. So this is now my pattern for the top of the head. This is the pattern for the side of the hat. So we've got that and then that on top and this will be our brim. So we've got a fold on one edge of the side and on the brim. Because this tutorial has been a little bit lengthy, I'm going to actually do this video in two parts. So this will be the measurement of your head and drafting the pattern. And following directly on from this will be the construction of the hat. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I shall catch you next time. Bye for now.